into the metaverse, you want to hop in 2D Central Land, but you notice it's not running very well. It's slow. You're dropping frames. You know, it is just, it's a mess. And, and you're wondering why. How do people use this metaverse? How do people play games in here? How do people explore? Well, I'm going to show you how, because when I first started playing, which actually was actually fairly recently, I noticed, hey, I'm not really getting good performance, and I have a good gaming computer, so wh what's the deal? The problem is, because Decentraland is an in-browser game, it doesn't take full use of your hardware capabilities, uh, mainly your graphics card or your GPU, okay? And there's a simple way to fix that, and I'm going to show you how. So, But before we do that, I'm just going to show you, as you can see, I'm not really dropping any frames. You can see right here, I'm not, you know, gonna, I'm not gonna log in to, with the mouse, but you can see I'm not really dropping any frames. I'm having really good performance in the game. The only slight drop in frames I get is when I first load into somewhere. When I first load into a new place, you'll have, you know, maybe 10 seconds of delay and just some slow performance, but that's it. You're not going to really have any issues other than that if you follow this method. Now, this is this method is going to be relative to how good your computer is. However, I still think even if you don't have a good computer, even if you have like a like a, you know, a lower tier or a mid tier, I still think you're going to get better performance than you would otherwise. So let's show you how to do it. Firstly, I'm going to just minimize this quick. And you're going to right click on your desktop. You're going to go to display settings, right? This is going to pop up. I'm going to show some display stuff, yada, yada, yada. What you do is you go to graphics settings. Over here, there will be something called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You're going to turn that on. Your computer is going to have to restart, okay? It's going to have to restart. Now, once you do this, the final step you have to do is you have to add the app in that you want to have high performance on, okay? So you see, I have Google Chrome in. What you do is you go to Browse, and from here, you're going to explore through your program files. So I'm going to go back a little bit just so you can see. So you're going to go to Local Disk Drive. Program files, Google, I'm using Chrome. If you're using a different operating system, obviously that's going to be different, but you go there, all right? Chrome, application, and then right here is where you would click it on, and that would add that to the um, to this for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. And then the last step, and I can't really show you that, I mean, I can, but the last step after you do that is you just click on high performance. So there'll be a, a like a battery saving, not battery saving, there'll be an like economy mode and a high performance mode. And you just click the high performance mode. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Once that's all done, you restart your PC and you're gonna notice right away, you're gonna have a big upgrade in performance on Decentraland, all right? really really easy to do so you can see on my screen i'm not you know i don't really have much lag only when i log into somewhere new and if you still have a little bit of latent uh, uh, of lag of of uh you know dropped frames yada, yada yada what you do is you just go into the settings and you'll want to turn down graphics a little bit you know maybe cap the fps at 30 if you care more about resolution or if you care more about fps keep the cap off but lower the resolution a little bit or lower the graphics quality i'm on high on pretty much everything because i have a good computer um if you're on like a little laptop or whatever you might want to go to medium settings but generally speaking you are going to get at least a bit you know at least a noticeable upgrade by going this route. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you enjoy um, GameFi, Web 3.0, Metaverse, Crypto, NFT content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave a like on the channel. Um, helps me out so much. Share this video if you found it helpful. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video. I will catch you next time and have fun exploring the Metaverse.